Good day, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren, and my ham radio call sign is N4BFR. Thank you, Sophie. I appreciate it. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show the RTL SDR blog version 4. It's a uh, software defined radio, all in this little compact USB stick. So, what comes with this? Basically, nothing. It comes with a, uh, the dongle here. It's made in China and the user manual. Welcome to my desktop. Let's start with the quick start guide from the rtl-sdr.com website. So I have the version four. When I was configuring this earlier, I, I had some difficulties in updating the, the drivers, but uh, I got it working and I decided to make this video for you guys. So in here with the version four, Here's uh, what we're looking at here. This is the, uh, the page I'm lock looking at now. I have the version four. So when you click on this, you'll see this page here, the RTL SDR blog V4 users guide. So the SDR software that I'll be using, it's from AirSpy. It's the Sharp, well, SDR Sharp. So when you read this, here's the SDR Sharp. It's the SDR Pound. It says right here, most programs now come with an updated driver that works with the V4. And here's some of the examples of the ones that work. I'm gonna be looking at the SDR Sharp. And they say here, however, the software you're using, if it has not been updated, you can manually update the driver. And that's this uh, link here. It takes you to the GitHub link. I'm gonna do a open in a new tab. So this is the latest one. And to go to your download, you download the release.zip. So you download that and it goes to your download folder. Okay, so scroll down a little longer, a little lower uh, down the page. Here's the uh, SDR sharp so the latest version of the sdr sharp already downloaded or downloads the rtl sdr blog branch when install dash rtl sdr dot bat file is run make sure you're using the latest sdr sharp and not the older versions the newer versions have been updated with the install rtl sdr dot bat file which downloads the updated drivers this is the AirSpy software defined radio download page. We're going to down the latest version, which also includes the change log here. Just click on download, maybe double click on it. Make sure you'll see it downloading. You'll see it right there. Okay, so it's already been completed download and then open up your downloads folder. And you can see it right here. I have the SDR Sharp downloaded. So we're going to extract that. Do a right mouse click and then extract all. We're going to extract it to the downloads folder. Click on extract and it opened up the sharp SDR sharp folder. What we're going to do first is we're going to install so look for the install-rtl-sdr, it's a batch file. Just double click on it and go ahead and click on run. It's going to download some files and then when it's completed, you press any key to continue. Look for the file. It's a application file called Zadig. C-A-D-I-G. So I'm gonna do a right mouse click. Well, actually, I'm just gonna double click on it to actually run this application. Click yes. 
So you have this little window that pops up. Now is the time to plug in your dongle, the RT LSDR. Let's plug that in. So I have a a, a switch here. It's a AB switch. On the left is my 40 meter horizontal loop, and on the right is the W6 LVP loop. So I can switch to both. So connecting the SMA. And I'm gonna connect this to the back of the computer. There's the better look of my AB switch. And I have the dongle connected to one of the USBs in the back of the computer. Once you plug in your USB SDR, it populates right here bulk in interface interface one or sometimes it could be interface zero so i do the drop down i only have interface one that's populated to install your drivers you just click on this right here it says install drivers and i'm not going to change this it just says uh, wins usb version 6.1.7600.1.0 one six three eight five and I'm not gonna do any kind of changes there I'm just gonna install the drivers okay it said it could take up to five minutes but it's done the driver was installed successfully go ahead and close that out and go ahead and close out the Zadig so let's find the SDR sharp. It's been extracted, so you have to pick the one that's not the compressed zip file. So it would be this one in my situation. And we're going to click on the install. Oh, correction, we're going to click on the... So we have this here, this application. It's the sharp, SDR sharp dot net eight or the SDR sharp dot net nine and I chose to do with number nine so just double click on that it's going to bring up this um, Windows Defender it's it's an unknown developer so just click on more info and just go ahead and run it anyways So this is what it looks like now. There's gonna be a time, um, I've already installed the, it's the um, Net9 software. If you don't, if you don't have the link, I'll post the link here. It's the .net.microsoft.com and so forth. I'll, I'll leave that link down in the description so that uh, you can download this. But what happens is it's going to recognize that you don't have it installed and it's going to ask you, do you want to install this? Uh, it's actually called the runtime nine and just click okay and run it It'll install it. Now we're going to configure and make sure that the RTL SDR is selected as the source. So you got these three lines here on the upper left. We're gonna click on that, click on source. We're gonna configure. Well, actually let's try that again. Source and select RTL SDR USB. Now you look here, the source is now the RTL SDR USB. The sample rate, you can just leave it at, at 2.4 MSPS and the sample mode, just quadrature sampling. And you can actually manually adjust the, the gain if you need to. So now 
To start this, you have to push the play button. So when there's audio, you'll hear some sounds. You can also double check, double click the three dashes and uh, make sure that your audio is selected. Uh, for me, I'm using the, um, let me stop it. You gotta stop it to make changes. So these are my audios and I'm going to use the MME analog one slash two. I do. I have the Audient ID four as my sound card. So that's what I have selected latency. I leave it as default. We can also zoom out and there's audio right here. That's what they call the uh, automated terminal information service ATIS. So what I can do is I can just double click on it. And there's traffic here. To zoom in on it. This, this is here is like a Mexico center. There might be times that you might only hear one-way communications is probably because I have the squelch a little too tight or the aircraft is too far away for me to receive and I'm picking up the uh, the ground stations. What's nice about this, you can zoom out and see the whole spectrum. And this tells you right here, it says aircraft band voice. it is now uh, nighttime and the uh, HF bands are pretty active. So we're on the uh, 49 meter band and this is what it looks like. I changed the color um, of the display a little bit. And how you do that, you do the uh, three bars and then go to display. And I change the spectrum to 20. These are the drop downs. So that's what gives it that little purple up here. So let me turn on the volume. We have a foreign station here. A little bit fading on me here. Right now I'm focused on this frequency right here, 6185. There's a signal right here. All I gotta do is just tap on it once. Nine megahertz. Now this is the uh, 31 meter band shortwave broadcast. You can see there's a signal right here. I just center it and just press it once. Yahushua, precisely because he had and never can sinned. Zoom in. So let's talk about justification then. Precisely, what is it? How would you define it? And how does it factor in to make it sinless like Yahushua is sinless? Justification is what Yahushua obtained for us by his atoning sacrifice. Sanctification is what Yahushua does inside us once we are justified. Do you remember what he told the disciples when they were sad that he'd be going up to heaven? You yeah, see these valleys understand here? Where the, these families end up living on that's, death. Um, Even though they have all the I think that's uh, my LED business. lights. Let me turn off this red lines, light. Modern machinery, rich harvests, cabbage, potatoes, and other demons was very well now received. Now it's going to be public. dark. It's generated and you notice those, uh, those hills and valleys are gone now. Varied educational context. Here's a one more example. It's uh, the next day at six in the morning. 
And、um, we're on the 31 meter pan. <laughs> Excuse me. We're getting some foreign stations here on the frequency 9660 kilohertz. And we'll zoom out, and you can see the spectrum of all the activity. I have the on the left of your screen. I have the audio spectrum displayed. You can add that by pushing the three bars and then selecting the audio spectrum here. So this is a, a strong station here. All I need to do is just click on it. Zoom in on it. And see how it's centered. We're on the 41 meter band now. A very strong signal. There's not really an S meter here, but on the right hand, you'll see the、uh, level. It says 57. And we have the ham band here on the 40 meters. We we can、uh, take a look at that. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. It was、uh, pretty awesome.、Um, the RTL SDR version for dongle. To use it as a software-defined radio and see the spectrum of all the radio waves, and、uh, just click on it, tune in, and adjust the the display of your spectrum. My name is Darren, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe, leave me a like and a comment, and my call sign is N4BFR. We'll see you on the next video. I'll say seventy threes and have a great day. See ya. Bye.